Good morning, folks. Today, I've had a lot of folks ask me how I come up with uh, my formulas and everything. And what I do is not load data, folks. It's how I load my shells. Um, but a good basis to start from is lead payload weight. Um, these are just a bunch of different sizes. 29 cal is what I commonly use, folks, for number one buckshot. But true number one buckshot is um, 30 cals, these ugly hot pink jokers. Those are true 30 cal. 31 cals are um, single off buckshot. 33 cals. These are true double alt buckshot. And 31 cal, I mean 32 cals is single alt, but most factories using that is double alt guys. The difference in all of it when it comes to loading, there is no difference. It's loaded by lead payload, the lead shot payload weight. There are several ways, I mean, you can, it goes, you can get a, this is a Lyman uh, shot shell handbook. There's lots of formulas in here, guys, that are already made up. Guys, everything can tell you, uh, like heavy shot, steel shot, business shot, and down to lead shot. Um, a lot of this stuff is all just, uh, it's done several ways. I mean, there's there's so much data out there that it can get confusing, I know. That's the reason a lot of us guys, me, Wade, other guys, just we try to simplify things. Like this book doesn't have a whole lot to do with um the the, the holes that everybody can get. The uh, Chidites, Fiochis, those are Federals down there on the end. Uh, those are more Fiochis. I got boxes and boxes of Remingtons and uh, more Federals. But to give you a general idea how we start this process, um, here's long shot. Here's a three inch round. Now this is only an ounce and three eighths. But you notice the powder charge can be much higher on an ounce and three eighths load. Now, most of the loads you guys that are watching us do and everything are buckshot loads, and they're far heavier. Um, they're, in, they're announcing five-eighths to announcing seven-eighths. Some of them pushing two ounces. You're not even going to find two-ounce information in the Lyman book. What you can find it in is on, on uh, Hodgson websites and uh, Blue Dot and all them. Um, you, you can find that data. Um, they do have data for them heavy loads all right, for Remington. Ounce, seven mace, two ounce, and two and a quarter ounce. Um, like 31 grains. Now, I never... They're showing pressures of 12,200. I don't load 31 grains a long shot. I go a grain under that. Sometimes a grain and a half if I'm using a, um, a Magnum primer. Like the uh, Federal 209As. That, that's basically a Magnum primer, guys. I don't even know why. A lot of folks don't realize it. You gotta, there's a little more homework involved in this, figuring up these formulas, than it's just... I mean, unless you're just pulling data out of the pre-made up load deals, um, that, that's the only real difference in them. But there's there's all difference in hulls and everything. There's tapered hulls. A lot of these wads you're seeing me use right now, we can't use in a tapered hull. It's not made for that. That's what, hence why you see. All right, like the two and three quarter dove rounds you've seen me loading up, guys. You can get away using the the Winchester double A's or clay buster equivalents. You can even get away with some of the um, 
uh, precision reloaders um, wads but you gotta it, you know you gotta know the difference between a tapered wad hull and a straight walled hull and there's a lot of things you gotta learn tapered hulls it's got a slight taper at the bottom uh, straight wall is straight up now when you're looking at wads to buy you figure that out but today we're mainly sticking to payload weights guys we're gonna i'm gonna show you how like i would come up with a load for a remington all right ounce and seven ace load that means you can have an ounce and seven ace uh payload weight to use their powder charges all right let's um calibrate the scale real quick guys make sure everything's going to calibrate up now you can use it yeah, passed real quick you can use these little 25 dollars scales to load on guys it it doesn't matter let me find one of my little pans here put on there then we're going to tear the weight out now we're down to zero all right like my 21 pellet number one load one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and twenty one all right now we got that on grains and we don't want that we want it on ounces there you go folks ounce and seven mace load 21 pellets you can come over here to your ounce and seven mace loads again three inch uh remington ounce and seven mace you can do 26 grains of long shot for their one formula they got and the pressures are 10,400. Yes, I go a little bit above that. Um, a lot of these loads are on the lower side. Blue dot, you can use uh, 33 grains and you see you got real low pressures. But you look at the speeds and they're not extremely blistering fast loads, but the heavier the payload you got, it's not going to be blistering fast. All right, these federal cases, ounce and seven mace load. Um, using a federal magnum primer, federal 209A, they're using 27 and a half grains of long shot. It depends on the uh, hull you got and everything. You'd use basically the same data on federal that you use on the Chedites and the uh, uh, Fiochis that I've noticed so far. I play with them enough that if it's, if, you know, that I want to figure out my own gun. Now, that's 21 pellets of number one. But it's the same situation, guys, if you do 18 pellets, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. That's just a little bit over an ounce and a half, guys. 1.611, that's that's not even an ounce and five eighths. But that's the 18 pellet 30 cal loads. And I'm going to tell you guys, some of them, if you go back and watch my old videos, it's hard to beat some of them original loads. That's just, that's just the God's honest truth. All right, we got, then we got like the 14 pellet... Well, here's one of the big difference. This is 32 cal. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. That is one and a half ounces, folks. Payload weight. 14 pellets of 32 cal, which generally I use in double odd. The lower the payload weight, the higher the charge, believe it or not, you can go. Let's do, here's 33 cal, 40, 14 pellets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that's almost 1.7 ounces. You see the big difference there, folks? It's a lot heavier. 
lot heavier payload considerably heavier but your charges and all are based on your payload weight especially with a lot of like this this TPS cushion wad there's not a load of data there's not a lot of load data out there um, we figured up we uh, can I tell you the pressures on it no I can't not without sending the round off and have it tested there are several ways you know you figure this out but generally if I stay well under 1200 feet a second and my um you know i can tell me personally i can when the load rocks your eye teeth out half the time it's it's pressure but i hope that helps some of y'all well also let's see if my tablet's gonna work the other question i get asked a lot where do i uh, uh get all my um um reloading supplies at the one big place that generally I get them all at guys is ballistic products yeah that's me and my handsome sons alright let's see here let's see if we can pull up the site that I go to all the time I'm waiting on orders from them now guys as many as I can wait on uh Ballistic products. That's the company I buy my hulls, wads, everything that I get, guys. Oops. Let's see. My tablet is old as I am, I think. And if you look closely, they have a load of the week. They also have lots of old loads, guys, for buckshot. They'll, you can find anything you need at this at this website. All right, you come over here, shot shell reloading. All right, like, like if you want hulls, guys, click on it. Um, I usually just hit the gauge, 12 gauge. Let's say three inch right now. All right, there's Chadites. There's more Chadites. Let's see, what all we got here? Fiochi. Let's see if anything's in stock. Up, oh, out of stock. All right, let's go on to the next one, guys. Um, they did have these in stock because I just ordered some the other day. Let's see here, Chadite. Alright, yeah, the red ones, guys, those ones right there, if you look real close, they're in stock. That's three inch holes you can get, um, them red ones right there in the middle. Whoops. I don't know what I just clicked on then. But, you can get everything basically you need from ballistic products. Everything right now is hit or miss whether or not it's in stock. Um, that's that's just the nature of the, the way the society is right now okay i got a bunch of messages all at one time then i'll never turn this thing on yeah all right let's uh go back to huh yeah, i gotta excuse my tablet i guess that's what happens when you don't turn it on and check your messages and i got a pile of them on there Um, they also had, um, like Federals. They're in stock, guys. They're, they're a bit pricey. And they're low brass, which means nothing. Don't, don't let that fool you. Now, that brass, like I've been telling everybody, they don't mean anything. But they're in stock. That's a hundred of them. And they're pre-primed, guys. You just, you just load them. I mean, you put your wad in there and you load them. Um... I doubt very seriously they have the green one in stock, Fiochi, but we'll look. Yeah, it's out of stock, folks. But I buy most of my stuff from them. Yeah, the clear Chadites, they're out of stock. That's that super high brass stuff, nothing I'd want to use anyway. All right, then you, come, you go back. Quads, guys. 
you got the TPS series of wads you got the MG 42s that's a real good one and they're in stock guys these are simple to use you take the formulas we're already giving you takes all the headache out of it LBC 12 gauge wad on the cushion wad there it is right there in stock guys $16.99 and you get 250 of them wads you can load 250 rounds with one bag of them that's the LBC one um, MG42 is the one that we usually use but it's in stock too and it's 250 of a bag 15 bucks so awesome pattern guys you ain't got to put nothing in the bottom of it you can put your powder charge in there you drop this down there on top of it and you put your pellets in there but our pellet counts come up different because of lead payload weight is basically what it comes down to folks I hope this helps somebody I'm not the greatest explaining I can usually just load up rounds and show you what I'm doing but I figured if it helped anybody it was worth taking the time um, some folks think I should make my videos this that and the other I make them on a cell phone guys I'm not in I'm not on YouTube to make a dime don't I ain't even concerned about making a dime I um I just like showing folks how to do this being they can't get ammo right now but anyhow we're gonna be loading up some more we're gonna actually load up some 21 pellet loads um the one of the best wads though I'm gonna tell you this right now to me the cushion wad is doing great and I absolutely love it but to me the all-around wad right there and it's in stock pre-slit and everything guys and it's 10.99 but it's a, only get a hundred of them the only thing you got to do is put a felt wad a fiber wad anything a piece of it in the bottom to keep from blowing that gas seal out and go with it you can load um, 18 pellets of 30 cal you can load 21 pellets of number uh, 29 cal you can load 14 pellets of 32 cal the one thing you can't do is you can't load these 33 cals in there they won't fit but you can load not one basically what i still consider my favorite load 16 pellets of 31 cal single load in it this now if you bought order that right now in a bag of holes and some and a pound of long shot powder that little 25 dollars scale you just see me weighing my stuff out on you could load rounds guys that's it's that simple it is it, it sounds simple and it is once we show you just basically what you're doing it's not always so simple coming up with shootable loads that you got to test and test and test and, and make sure everything is right with it but like i said i hope this helps somebody and uh, I'm going to get to loading myself. Deer season's coming up on us quick, guys. Later.